Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the basic introduction of HTML. In this video tutorial, we'll see what HTML is and why we need it. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, Let's get started. Let's go through the agenda for today's video first. First, we'll go through a quick introduction to basic website architecture to understand how a website actually works. Then we'll understand what HTML is and moving ahead, we'll go through the use cases of HTML. Finally, we'll go through the installation part and the editors we can use to start with HTML. Let's move on to the first topic for today's video tutorial, Website Architecture. Website Architecture basically defines the design and structure of a website. A website contains two important parts, the front end and the back end. The front end of any website is something the user came across. We can also state it as the client side of any website. Whatever the user of the website sees while going through any particular website is considered as front-end. HTML, CSS and JavaScript are the three most popular and mainly used technologies which are responsible for the development of the graphical user interface. The combination of these three technologies is responsible for giving a smooth and appealing user experience. On the other hand, anything the user doesn't witness while going through the website but actually exists somewhere in the website and the server is known as the backend of a website. Whenever we visit a page and send a request for the content, the server goes through the database and then creates a response that is sent back to the browser. The browser then interprets the response and displays the content on the screen. Several technologies are used for backend development. Few of them are JavaScript frameworks like Node.js and Next.js, Python frameworks like Django, Ruby frameworks like Ruby on Rails, C++ frameworks like Apache and many more other technologies. Let's move ahead and we'll now go through what HTML is. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Introduced in the year 1993 by Tim Berners-Lee the same person who invented the World Wide Web in the year 1989. The first version of HTML was written in 1991 but released later in 1993 as HTML 1.0. HTML got many updates with time and the current ongoing version of HTML is HTML 5.0. HTML is also known as the most basic building block of the web which is used to create the structure of any website with the help of numerous predefined tags. It helps the browser to understand the structure and style of a document or file for viewing over the internet. It allows our web pages to host videos, images and other applications. It also facilitates navigation within web pages or between websites through hypertext. Hypertext refers to the links present in any website to connect different web pages and create a whole website. HTML has a lot of use cases. Web development. HTML code is used to design how a browser displays web page elements such as text, hyperlinks and media files. Internet navigation. Users can easily navigate and insert links between related pages and websites as HTML is heavily used to embed hyperlinks. Web documentation. HTML makes it possible to organize and format documents similarly to Microsoft Word. Moving on to the installation part. HTML does not require any special software to work. If you have Notepad installed in your system, that's enough to start using HTML. The best part about HTML is its ease of use. Let's move on to the editors part now and we'll then download a particular editor for a complete HTML playlist. An editor or IDE which stands for Integrated Development Environment is a software application that comprehends facilities to a programmer for software development. 
Just like Photoshop makes it easier to edit photos, in the same way, IDE makes it easier for a programmer to write code. The number of IDEs present in the market today is huge. Some of these editors are Notepad++, Atom, and VS Code. These editors are free to use. On the other hand, editors like Sublime are free but with some limitations. To access all the features of Sublime, we have to go for the premium version for the license and then we can use it for software development. My personal choice for an editor is the Visual Studio Code. There is a reason behind using VS Code as an editor. Let me tell you a few advantages of VS Code over other editors. First of all, it is free to use as it is open source software, so we can get it at no cost. It supports multiple programming languages. There's nothing like we need any web support or work on different editors for different programming languages. We can use VS Code for different languages as well. Extensions are also one of the main reason behind using VS Code. Suppose we want to use a programming language it does not support. All we have to do is to add an extension and we are good to go. It also does not affect the editor's speed as it runs as a different process. Besides all these properties, one main key factor behind using VS Code is its availability in different platforms like it is available for Mac, Linux and Windows. So I think there are enough features we have discussed till now. There are many more features that we'll discuss while installing and working with VS Code. Let's start with the installation part now. The installation process for VS Code is pretty simple. Just go to Google and write here VS Code. Press enter and the next page which will open will show us the results. Click on the first link over here and we are here at the website of VS Code. Right. Now you can see the download button in front of your screen. You can click on it and you can download the stable version for your operating system from here only or you can go to the other download button present at the top right corner of your screen. Click on the button over here. So you can see here we have all the extensions as well. These are the top extensions. We have to download them inside VS Code once the downloading part over. So here you can see the download starts. Now sit back and relax until the download finishes. Once the download completes, open the setup file from your downloads and it will take us to the license agreement page. Now agree over here, click on next and it will take us to the browser part. So here what we have to do is we have to choose a location for the VS Code file to locate. So you can choose any location. So for now I am clicking on next over here. Now you can see we have a different folder so we can click on browse and then select it and then click on next. So here we can see we have some additional features. So what we'll do is we'll create a desktop icon. Now you can see other options as well. So click on them as well. Click on next and now click on install. The installation will start. Once we are done with the installation part, click on finish and the VS code will start automatically. Fine. So here you can see we have the welcome page over here. What we can do is we can open a folder from here so if you have any folder so what we can do is we can open it from here now what we'll do is we'll create a new file so here you can see we are in a file what we have to do is we have to save this file now so click on file click on save and now we can save this file at any place or any location we can see so what we are going to do is we are going to go on desktop we are going to create a new folder over here we are going to name it as html now inside HTML what we are going to do is we are going to write here the name of our file. So we'll write here first then we'll write here the extension. So what we have to do is we have to write here first dot HTML and here you can see we have an HTML file over here. Right. So you can see we have four options over here. The first one is for opening a folder or any particular location. So click on open folder. Now what we are going to do is we are going to open HTML over here and you can see we have the HTML folder open. Now we have the file over here as first.html which we created recently. Then we have the search button over here to search anything or to replace anything. The next button we have over here is for the source control. Then after this we have the debug button as well and then we have the extensions. So these are the features VS Code provides us and below here we have the accounts option and the settings option 
what we can do from here is we can change the font size and different settings right now the next button we are going to discuss is the extensions button here we can find many extensions given by the vs code studio community they are free to use so for now we'll use these two or three extensions so what we can do is we'll click on html css support so you can see i have already installed these extensions over here so then we have javascript and type script nightly and the live server extension so this extension is pretty important the live server one and the html css support you can leave the javascript and type script nightly for now so we have to install these two extensions for now so i have already installed it you can install them in your computer now the next thing we have to do is so we can start writing our code here on I already told you that while saving any file, make sure that we are saving that file with a .html extension. So what we have to do here is we have to put an exclamation mark over here and press enter. And you can see we have the basic HTML code which we'll need in almost every program from now on. So we don't have to write this code every time. Just press the enter key after putting an exclamation mark. So this code will come in our screen now here we have different tags right so we'll discuss these tags later on while working on the html file so i hope for now you got the installation part and what is html basically using html is so easy that we can simply start with it if we have basic computer knowledge we got you covered if you are a newbie to html please stay connected with us and you guys will understand html in a very fun and exciting way so that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through basic HTML tags. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help you. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply code. Thank you.